Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and I am coming to you today um, because a couple of my subscribers and a couple of ladies in the um, Ditch in the Deck group had kind of inquired where am I am, where am I am now? <laughs> where am I at now? Um, so I wanted to kind of give you guys a little overview of where I am. Um, hopefully it will be a situation where y'all take it and realize that sometimes we do fall backwards and, um, but you can get back up and you can move forward and it might take a little extra time, but that's what we do. Um, life happens. We can't control everything. We try to do as much as possible to control as much as we can, but sometimes we're in a pickle. That's just the way it is. So this is where I am today. So I am about, for about a couple of months, I was one month behind on my mortgage. Um, but I was in constant contact with them and just kind of let them know. Um, so I'm caught up, sort of. So you know I get paid at the end of the month. And because I get paid at the end of the month, as long as I make the payment in January on the last day, which is the last day that I get paid, then at that point it will be, it will incur a late fee, but it won't go to the credit bureau. Does that make sense? So, um, and I am about not a full payment behind on my car note. So, I wish I could tell you where it went, honestly. Um, I think after, and I, I I can't keep blaming Tank. God bless his soul. I can't keep blaming him. But that's when I fell off the wagon. And for some reason, it just kept spiraling and spiraling. And unfortunately, right now, I don't have anything in my emergency fund for about $100. <sighs> I'm so scared. But I try to keep faith in God that everything is going to be okay. Um, let's see what else. Um, I think everything else is completely caught up and, you know, paid for. What my goals going forward, the ultimate, when I get my tax return, I know y'all. But I, I'm, and I may do something like separate with that. But what my goal is, is to get one month ahead, pay everything current and get one month ahead because of the fact that I get paid at the end of the month, that stuff should go for the following month and not the current month. And everything else other than my mortgage and looks like my car note, everything else is on target. But I want light bill, house note, car note, um, have the money there already for car insurance, um, light bill, water bill. Um, and so the only thing that might be current, um, and I'll have to figure that out if you guys have any um, suggestions on that, even food, have that, you know, one month ahead. So that's my goal um, is to do that. Um, and I might just do like a separate thing with what I'm planning on doing with my taxes, but got to find out how much I'm getting back first. Um, I, I can honestly say that even though I have had some setbacks, I think in December, I started back tithing and... That might even be something separate that I want to do because I, I know that not all religions, not all beliefs are the same, but I've seen the miracle of tithing. I've known it for a very long time, but just circumstances or previous hurts and pains from needing um, assistance with churches, I stopped and... Um, not putting my faith, I was putting my faith in man and not putting my faith in God. So um, I started back tithing in December with my, no, my November check. Yeah, my November check. 
which was for December. It's, it's complicated. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I ended up starting to do that. And honestly, even though things sometimes seem a little tight, especially when you're doing um, a no um, zero base budget, a lot of times it seems like, oh my gosh, is it, you know, am I running out of month? And sometimes it feels like that. So that's where I'm at. Um, if you guys have any questions below, please list them. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you like the video. Um, and I love you guys so much. Take care. And yeah, I don't know what else I want to say. <laughs> All right, butterflies, I love you much.